Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. This is Lesson 16. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on our coding journey. Today we're diving into the world of CSS positioning, a crucial concept for controlling the placement of elements on your web page. We'll cover static, relative, absolute, fixed, and sticky positioning. So let's get started. First up is static positioning, which is the default position for any HTML element. It means the element is positioned according to the normal flow of the document. So I've created a div with a class of static box that says I am a static box. And now if we go over to our CSS, which is connected to our style.css as shown in this link here, let's do dot static box because that was the name of our class name. In open curly brackets, I'll type in position static and I'll do a, uh, I'll do a background color of light blue. And now hit control save and you'll just show it kind of, it'll just show in normal, I am a static box text with a light blue background. So I'll zoom in a little bit just so it's more visible. Next is relative positioning. This allows you to position an element relative to its normal position without affecting the layout of other elements. So in this case, I'll create a div with a class of relative box that just says I am a relative box. So I'll hit control save. And now in our style.css, I will do dot relative box because that's the name of our class. And in curly brackets, I'll do position will be relative. And I will do a, let's do top is gonna be 20 pixels and bottom will be 40 pixels. And I'll also do a background color of light green. And now when you hit control save, you'll notice that this is also relatively positioned to a way that it doesn't affect our other element. And we also added a bottom 40 pixels, which we will show with the position, which, which will show on our next element. So now let's talk about absolute positioning. This removes the element from the normal document flow and positions it relative to the closest position ancestor. So I'll add a div with a class called absolute container. And inside this div, I'll add another one called absolute box that just says I am an absolute box. So now when I hit save, you won't actually see a pop up here, but if you highlight back here, you'll notice that something's back here. And when I hit control C to copy, and I'll just paste it up here, it'll show me that I am an absolute box up here. So now let's style the CSS to get this, to make this visible. So now what I'll do is first add some CSS to my absolute container and I'll do position will actually be relative. Now when I hit control save, you will see it a little bit more visible now. So next what I'm gonna do is add some CSS to the absolute box. And I'll do position for this one will be absolute and I'll do a top of 30 pixels and a right of 10 pixels. And let's do the background color to be light coral in this case. So now when I hit control save, you'll actually see it pop up on the right here. Fixed positioning is similar to absolute, but the element is positioned relative to the viewport, meaning it stays in place even when you scroll. So now let's add a div that says I am a fixed box with a class of fixed box, and I'll hit control save. And in our style.css, let's add some CSS. So I added a dot fixed box with the position to be fixed and a bottom and right of 20 pixels. And the background color for this one will be light yellow. So now you'll see it at the very bottom, at the very bottom right here because we did bottom of 20 pixels and right of 20 pixels. And the position is fixed. So if I wanted to scroll, it would always be here. Lastly, we have the sticky positioning. This is a hybrid of relative and fixed. The element is treated as, the element is treated as relative until the page is scrolled to a certain point at which it becomes fixed. So next I'll add a sticky box class. In my div, I'll add a class called sticky box and inside I'll type, I am a sticky box. And I'll hit control save and under style.css, let's add some CSS for our dot sticky box. So I'll do position is going to be sticky and let's do a top of 10 pixels and a background color of light pink. Now when I hit control save, you'll see it say I am a sticky box. And currently I can't really scroll right now because there isn't enough stuff on the page just yet. But what I'm just gonna do is just add kind of some clutter and just copy paste this a bunch of times. And now you'll see that the sticky box is actually sticking to the very top after I get to a certain point. So when I scroll down, you'll see the sticky box is still there. And on the bottom right, the I am a fixed box is stuck no matter where I scroll. So it's always showing on the page. 
And that's a quick overview of CSS positioning. Experiment with these different values to see how they affect the layout and behavior of your elements. In our next lesson, we'll dive deeper into advanced layout techniques in responsive de designs. If you have any questions or want to share your creations, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more coding tutorials. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video.